This is my first time live recording one of these without doing a voiceover, so bear with me here. Um, I would like to do some arm strength yoga today because I've been trying to do a lot of inversions and handstands and such, and I've noticed that my arm strength is not where I would like it to be. So today's practice is going to be focusing on arms. So lots of yogi push-ups, lots of plank poses, and I'm also going to throw a few of my inversions in there. I am not great at them. I'm a brand new yogi, so bear with me. If you are also a brand new yogi, this will be great for you. So uh, let's get started, huh? All right. Start with just some mountain pose. Reach your arms up to the sky. Stretch. Maybe lean a little bit. Link your thumbs together and stretch to the right and to the left. I'm gonna do a lot of spinal warm up here since I tend to have a lot of lower back pain. Let me bring my elbows down and back and pinch my shoulder blades together. Not very good at the whole breathing thing, so I'm gonna try to tell you when to breathe, but I don't even know when to breathe, so <laughs> maybe link your hands behind your back, bend back a little bit. Reach back up towards the sky, maybe rotate to the left, open up your arms, pinch your shoulder blades back, breathe. back up towards the sky, maybe up onto your tippy toes, and rotate over to the right, get your shoulder blades back, breathe, stretch towards the sky, ground through your feet, towards the sky, maybe up on your tippy toes, and over to the left again, pinch your shoulder blades, remember, Tighten yourself. <sighs> Mountain pose again. And over to the right one more time. Um, let's get to heart. Let's get some forward fold action going here. Maybe swan dive. Remember to bend your knees as generously as you need to. Trust me, I looked like this about a month ago, so we will get there. Maybe bend one knee and then the other, but make sure when you are doing a deep bend, you are bending both knees generously. This is our first forward fold. Drop your head, swing your neck to the side. Bring it down into our first plank. We do some stretching of the calves here. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. Neutral head position. Don't drop it down or lift it way up. Look straight between your hands. Keep your bum central. Don't drop it down. Don't lift it up. Remember, you can go on your knees here, do not cross your legs, keep your feet to the side, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can keep yourself in that plank pose a little bit here, I am probably going to throw some abs in here as well, since I have not done that in a while either, alright, I'm not going to quite do push-ups yet, we're just warming up here, so let's maybe rock back and forth a few times, and let's go ahead and head into our first Downward dog. Oh. Remember, bend your knees generously here as well. Maybe take your dog for a walk a little bit. Drop your heels one at a time to the ground. Feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. Oh, yes. All right. Remember, keep your head in between your arms during downward dog. Our goal is to get our heels down to the ground. I'm not there yet. If you're not there yet, that's totally fine. If you are like this, that's also fine. Remember, you don't need to have a perfect pose. Listen to your body. Do what feels good. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to ground my left foot. Lift my right foot up into the air for three-legged dog. 
And I'm going to bring my right knee to my right elbow for a couple breaths here. Back up into three-legged dog. And then cross right knee to left elbow. A couple breaths. Back up into three legged dog. And to the center. A couple breaths. Knee to nose. And step up into your low lunge. You straighten your back out a little bit. Feel that nice hip flexor stretch. And I'm just going to jump right into it since I don't want this to be a very long practice today. Right into Warrior 2. Oh, the hips cracked a little bit there. <sighs> Remember 90 degree angle when you bend at the knee. Do not let your knee go over your toes. Straight arms. Look over your right arm. Or if you're on the other side, that's fine. <laughs> I never did specify. My arms are getting a little tired, so I'm gonna lean forward, put my left arm across my lower back, and go right into extended warrior two. And let's go ahead and rotate into pyramid pose. So push your hips back, straighten your right leg, rotate. If you can't put your hand on the ground yet, you can always keep it on your shin or up on your thigh, but never on your knee. Otherwise, you can place your hand on the ground, left hand up towards the sky. Maybe look out over your right, or your left hand, I'm sorry. A couple breaths here. This is a nice hamstring stretch. Nice lower back stretch, too. This is very nice for rotation. All right, let's go ahead, slowly bend the right knee back into our low lunge. Let's push back into plank. We're going to start our yogi push-ups now. Here come the arms. Everybody ready? We're going to do three at a time. All right, so lean forward like you're about to do chaturanga. And inhale down, exhale up, one, two. Three. I know my form isn't great. I'm not supposed to arch your back when you go up. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go back into downward dog. Let's do our ab sequence on the left side now. So ground your right heel into the ground. Lift leg up into three-legged dog. And forward, left knee to left elbow. Couple breaths. up into three-legged dog and left knee to right elbow back up into three-legged dog and knee to nose and step into your lunge maybe lift up for a second Get that nice hip flexor stretch and then rotate your back leg up into warrior two. 90 degree angle, don't let your knee go in front of your toe. Put your hand on your thigh, your shin, or on the ground if you are there. If not, that's fine. All right, slowly bend your left knee back into the lunge. Let's do a couple more 
yogi push-ups. Back up in the plank. Three more yogi push-ups. All right, lean forward. Inhale down. Exhale up. One. Two. Three, and then two, downward dog. All right, let's lower down onto our knees. Let's go ahead and do a little crow pose work since we're on arm day. So bring your feet together, knees out, plant your hands, fingers spread very far apart. <sighs> I'm kind of tired from that already. Knees up. If you're not up here, if you're down here, that's fine. I'm probably not quite up here yet either. Maybe you lift one toe today, maybe both. I learned that uh, crane pose is where your elbows are bent and crow pose is actually where your elbows are straight. I am not there yet. <laughs> I'm trying to get there though, one of these days. So maybe just play around if you're not at crow pose yet. Maybe you take it down in child's pose. Maybe do a few more yogi push-ups. Instead, if you want to work on the arms in a different way, maybe you hold plank. It's totally up to you. I am in a phase where I would like to work more on my inversions and handstands and such. So I, that's where I'm at in my practice. Wherever you are at is fine. Ooh. Remember to look forward on crane slash curl pose or you will fall. <laughs> or face plant, rather, which I have done several times. And I'm very surprised I have not done that today. Normally I do, every single time I try. I'm very surprised. I'm going to try just a couple more here. You can continue in plank pose, or you can maybe try a headstand if you'd like. Wrists are starting to hurt. If your wrists hurt a little bit, hold them out in front of you. Maybe pull them in for a couple seconds each. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and take it in to a wide-legged forward fold here. Keep your feet parallel to each other, not pointing to the outsides of the mat or to the insides of the mat. Let's maybe take a rag doll. Cross your arms, drop your head, maybe rock side to side. Take a break from the arm work we just did. All right, let's go ahead and put your right hand down and lift your left hand up to the sky for a little twist. And switch. This is a good one for warming up your back if you're about to do any back bends or anything like that. All right, take it back down. All right, let's move our hands up towards our left foot, turn our left and our right feet forward into a high lunge. Get that stretch going a little bit. Let's hook our hands behind our back. Maybe do a little bit of a bend here. And it's keeping our hands linked. Let's put them up and over our heads. Keep your palms glued together. If you don't get this far, that is totally fine. If you can get farther, good for you. I can't yet. <laughs> All right, bring it back. Hands to heart or to the sides or up or on your lower back. It's up to you. I suppose it is arm day, so I should probably keep them up. Just a couple more breaths. 
on back down. Let's go ahead and lift up into three-legged dog. Let's bend our left leg and point it towards our right side. I'm trying to think. I'm not very good at directions here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop our left foot down into, I don't know, what is, what is this, half bridge? <laughs> Something like that. And we're going to, this is only the second time I've done this, so bear with me here. I'm going to rotate down into a back bend. Wow. Nice. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to walk over the other side of my mat, bring my other hand up, <sighs> trying to think here, and I'm going to, Ooh. oh yeah, I guess that kind of works, downward dog on my other leg, cool, I did it. <laughs> All right, I honestly thought I would fail at that, so I'm not really sure where to go from here. Let's go ahead and bring it in a normal downward dog. I'm gonna move back over onto my mat since I got a little, little off task there. That was fun, I enjoyed that. All right, let's go ahead and bring it down onto all fours again. Nice, all right. I'm going to do some, uh, let's do some forearm stand work, huh? So forearm stand, you are, are supposed to have your hands, you know, shoulder width apart as well as your elbows. I am terrible at that and I do not have a block to help me out so my hands will almost certainly end up together and I will look like a little triangle up here. You're not supposed to do that. I try not to but somehow it always happens. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to do a few donkey kick type things if I end up doing a somersault which is almost inevitable that's fine so if you want to practice doing some of this if you want to do some headstands maybe some more crow pose work or you could always just revert to plank or side plank maybe other sorts of arm work so i'm just gonna do a couple donkey kicks here Ooh. I knew it was inevitable. I told you. I've never been able to hold a forearm stand for very long. Actually, to tie this, because this is getting really annoying. Keep falling. There we go. All right. I'm gonna do that a couple more times. And again, it doesn't. This doesn't hurt. If you've never tried this before, this is a good way to try it out. If you somersault, it's not a big deal. Granted, I'm on grass. So, if you're on a hardwood floor, I don't know how great that'll go for you, but it doesn't hurt me on grass. Sand is also another good way to practice. Alright, well, that might be enough of that for today. Y'all my cool, uh forearm stand poses and handstand poses that I have on Instagram. They are all just taking pictures from videos of me doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I cheated. I'm working on it. I am. I still need a wall to successfully do all of those arm poses, but I'm working on it. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a seat for a second. We're going to do a couple more spinal twists here. So sit up nice and straight, arms up, inhale, and exhale, seated forward fold. Trust me, I was not able to touch my toes about a month ago. I was like here, so if you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's cool. If you're like bending in half, that's super cool. I would love to be able to do that. I'm getting there though. Couple seconds here. All right, let's go ahead and take our right leg, bend it over left leg. Put, place your right arm, be, play, right hand behind you. 
left elbow to left knee. And if you would like to stay here, take a couple breaths. If this hurts your back at all, just revert to child's pose. This hurts my back some days. Today it's good. If you'd like to take it a step further, lace your left hand through your left leg and link it with your right hand. Remember to stay nice and tall here. I am not quite to the point where I can look over my right shoulder. I think that's the goal. <laughs> it's also hard to breathe here because I'm so knotted up but I'm trying to stay tall. All right, let's unlink. Take another seated forward fold. And this time, bend your left leg, place it over your right leg, right knee, or left knee to right elbow, and left hand back behind you. You want to stay here, if you feel any back pain at all, revert to child's pose, or if you'd like to take it a step further, your right arm to your left leg. And with your left hand. So left and right thing is really difficult for me if you can't tell. <laughs> I am not as flexible on this side. But my back does not hurt today, so that's good. Well, you're supposed to keep your outer foot flexed. I was not doing that. You want to keep all parts of your body engaged during yoga. It is a full body experience. <sighs> okay, a couple deep breaths. Let's go ahead and move back into our plank. A few more push-ups. <sighs> I know I don't want to either. All right, three more. Actually, you know what? Let's do five. Let's do five. My triceps aren't burning enough. Remember to keep your triceps close to your body as you're doing these push-ups, too. And inhale down, exhale up. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. And downward dog. Alright, now I'm going to chaturanga into a bit of a chin stand, or I'm going to try. I haven't done it without a wall, so we'll go for it here. So, lean forward into chaturanga, drop chin. Ugh, I am clearly not very good at that. This is why I'm doing an arm-based yoga to get my strength up. All right, we're going to try one more time. I doubt it's going to be successful, but hey, that's what yoga is, right? Trial, error, practice. No perfect, though. No perfect. Cool. That's the first time I've held that. I know it was for only like 0.2 seconds, but without a wall, that's... That's a pretty big step for me. Oh, that felt good. All right. Let's go ahead and do a couple more little wrist stretches here. Yeah, here in my mouth. Yep. It's a Riley here, I think. <laughs> Lovely. A couple more wrist stretches here. All right, now I'm going to go into my handstand donkey kicks. These will probably be even worse than my... Uh, forearm stand donkey kicks, but hey, why not, right? <sighs> and it's okay to get frustrated. Sometimes I can do it in the first try. Sometimes it takes me 50 tries. Sometimes I don't do it because I get too pissed off. <laughs> And sometimes I do a nice back flop when I practice these, too. That's always fun. Mm. 
Whoop. Whoa. That was a pretty good save compared to what I normally do. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do my all-time favorite now, headstand. I know that's not a whole lot of, well, it is a lot of arm strength, but not as much as a handstand. <sighs> All right, so, headstand. Forearms, about shoulder width apart. I'm trying to find a good spot here. Link hands together. Then you're gonna put right above your neck, so like right where my ponytail is. I'm gonna put that right in this little spot here, right in that little nook. So I'm gonna do that. Well, I guess it's a little, little above my ponytail. I guess I can do this to the side so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Maybe this that side has Riley Poppins. All right. So I'm going to. It's actually gonna end up about right here. So right at the nape ear. Head. That's not the nape, is it? Right here, right on the cranium. All right, put that down. I'm going to press away from the ground, round up my back, not this, but this. Push up and into my spine, engage the abs. This is a lot more abs than you think it is. It's a lot more arms too. You do not want a lot of weight on your head. You want to be mostly in your arms here. So I'm going to go up like this. And I'm just going to start like that. And then push up slowly, slowly. This is the inversion I am most comfortable with. It took me a while to get to this point, but once you do, you can kind of play a little bit. Yeah, that happens sometimes too. <sighs> Alright, so you get the gist you get the gist of headstand, right? So I shouldn't say a lot more inversions than I normally do. I normally do about this many inversions, probably more. But I I kick up on the wall <laughs> instead of doing all these somersaults, which kinda hurts my head after a while. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more real yoga and then we'll call it a day because wasn't supposed to be. I think I'm already over my time limit here. <laughs> got stuff to do. All right. Let's go ahead plank. Let's go ahead and do five yogi push-ups again. So lean forward and inhale down, exhale up. One, two, three, four, five. Downward dog. Whew. Remember, I'm right here with you. I'm struggling too. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Do three-legged dog with our right leg up. And step forward, high lunge. <sighs> Rotate your back left leg. That's a worm that I must have brought up from my feet. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops. Must be in a wormhole. All right. Up into Warrior 2. Man, this is the most animals I've ever encountered doing yoga. Dog, a worm, what's next? There's cows over there. I see a spider web. Hopefully there's no spiders. Alright. Let's go ahead and place right elbow on right knee. Left arm straight up. And also Put your right hand all the way under the ground. All right, a little bit of leg strength here. Go ahead and take your left arm, place it on your right thigh, look up. And now we're going to take our right hand and loop it around and connect with our left arm. Look up, a couple breaths here, come on, it burns, I know. One more breath. All right, hand back down. A little bit longer here. Rotate your left foot. And let's go ahead and twist 
to the other side. So right hand up. This is another good spinal twist. And back into our downward dog. I'm gonna move my feet up a little bit cause, so I don't disturb any more worms today. All right, let's go ahead and do three-legged dog with our left leg up. I had to think about that for a second. And step forward, rotate right foot up into warrior two. Left elbow onto left knee. Arms straight up to the sky. Right arm straight up to the sky. And left arm, left hand all the way down if you'd like. Alright, let's start our start this process again. Right arm onto our left thigh. Back up. Ooh, that hurts my shoulder. My shoulder is messed up from 13 years of swimming. I will tell you that much right now. That hurts. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and take our left hand underneath our leg and link it with our right hand. Three breaths. One. Woo! Just kidding, one breath. All right, let's try that again. See? Practice makes Progress, not perfect. That's not exactly what I would call progress, but that's okay. All right, let's start over again. We'll only do two breaths, I promise. All right, ready? Two breaths. One, two, perfect. All right, let's place a twist. Your right foot forward to kind of a high lunge. Right hand down, left hand up towards the sky to a little reverse. Twist here. All right, let's back into our plank. Five more yogi push-ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Downward dog. <sighs> All right. Let's meet our hands and our feet to the middle of the mat couple of forward folds here. <sighs> and let's take a seat. <sighs> All right. <sighs> the deep exhales here. Let's do this classic yoga meditation. Middle finger to thumb back of your hands on your knees. Tall, tall, tall. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Namaste, my friends. Delicious.